Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, I would like to talk about the idea of coordinate vector. And here in vector space where the uh, the real numbers are concerned with n dimension. Okay, so we have a subspace of this vector space. This is the vector space. This is the subspace S. And here we have a basis, which is a combination of uh, some vectors. So it is a basis for subspace S. And also in that uh, subspace S, there exists a vector V. And there is one way to um, link these two together, this vector V and the basis. And the one way to link off them is by writing V as a linear combination of the basis factors in B. Now, let us try to visualize the whole process here. Well, we have um, this vector space. So here is a vector space. Um, and in this vector space, you can uh, get subspace. So this is subspace. This subspace is, we're going to call it L S. This is the subspace S. And from that subspace S, we can think of S here, have a basis. So here have a basis. Mm. And the basis is given by B. What is B? B is the combination of vector one, vector 2 and vector k so this is basis also from s we can also uh, come out with one vector for example a particular vector we can call it v so here is another vector this vector is inside s and there is a way to link them together so we're going to link this V, which is somewhere here. It is not included in a set of B. B here is a basis. So we are going to link B and V together. And how can we do that? We can do that if we consider writing them in terms of, so V here can be write down in terms of linear combination of all the given vectors here. So when you talk about the linear combination, you're talking about uh, adding all these vectors together. And right next to these vectors, there will be scalars. Okay, so we have C1, vector 1, C2, vector 2, and then we add everything up until uh, the last uh, vector. Okay, so this is how you can link the two components here which is um, a particular vector v from subspace s and here is the basis of s so basis here consists of many other different vectors okay so that's the idea now following that idea so this is what we have already talked about just now uh, therefore once you are able to write it in terms of this uh, linear combination then all the things here, C1, C2, Ck, they are called coordinates of vector V with respect to basis B. And it is written in this, in this notation. So um, the idea of this video is all related to finding the coordinate vector of V with respect to B. So if we continue, um, you know, uh, linking this new idea to what we have got here so far therefore um, we are talking about c1 c2 ck and those are okay let me just so those are um a combination of those written in this form c1 c2 ck this is the coordinate vector v so we're going to say coordinate vector v here with respect to basis b so it has something to do with this b given here 
and that's the whole idea of coordinate vector okay um, now let us move on and uh, study the process that we need in order to find the coordinate vector in that particular vector space with respect to basis so the process is very simple you're going to combine a basis here so this will be all the vectors in basis with the given vector in that particular subspace of s so here we're going to combine uh, b with vector v so we are going to have an augmented matrix over here and what we are going to do is we are going to apply the usual elementary row operations so that this side here the combination of all vectors in basis b will be reduced to rref so once uh, the process here takes place v vector v here will automatically be reduced to what we are looking for which is the coordinate vector v with respect to basis so we can straight away get the answer that we're looking for which is to find coordinate vector with respect to basis it will be given by this part right here okay very simple right now without further ado let us look at this uh, example here well you have a uh, basis uh, given by notation e so here is a uh, standard basis what does it mean when you say it is a standard basis well it means that when you are talking about a vector space with real numbers and three um, components here so that means you are going to have three components that means for e1 vector e1 here it will look like this so when it is one that means the first component is one the rest is zero so up to three because we have uh, three uh, components uh, illustrated here so that is for e1 for e2 that means other positions are zero except at the second position yep and for e3 others are zero except at the third position so that is the idea of a standard basis for um a certain given vector space okay and uh you are asked to find the coordinate vector of this one here with respect to e therefore what we need to do is we need to combine the basis together with the given vector so to combine we're going to consider the basis which is this one this one this one according to the order so here it's the order e1 e2 e3 so i'm just going to write down its combination and then here is v so 2 7 4 now you can see that this um particular part here is already r r e f so we don't need to apply any elementary row operations therefore uh, we can say that the coordinate vector coordinate vector of v with respect to e e here is the basis remember is going to be given by 2 7 4 so that's the answer and uh, it's quite easy because um, the matrix part here is already RREF and Y and, and and we get this kind of answer without having to do anything because you're dealing with a standard basis. Okay, so you can get the result straight away from the given uh, vector here. Okay, so that's the answer. Now, um, let's look at another example here. So here we have... Um, this defined as basis it is not a standard basis so we're going to have to do a bit of elementary row operations in order to reduce the matrix to rref and uh, so here is the basis and this is the vector in the subspace given here 
and you are asked to find the coordinate vector of this one with respect to B. So here is the basis. So uh, as always, the starting point will be to combine the basis and the vector given together. So here is the basis 1, negative 1, 1 and 2, negative 1, negative 8. Next, what I can do is I can consider turning this value into 0. So that can be achieved if I um, focus on this operation. We have R2 plus 1 R1. And that would be 1, 1, negative 1, negative 1 plus 1, 0, 2 plus 1, 3, negative 8, plus 1, negative 7. Sorry, negative 8 plus negative 1, negative 9. Sorry. So that is negative 9. Uh, next is, um, remember, we have to reduce it to RREF. So this part here can be turned into 1. So 1 over 3, R2. That will give us 1, 1, negative 1. 0, 1, negative 3. Okay. And uh, finally, what we can do is we can um, turn this into 0. So that will be R1 plus negative 1 R2. Therefore, 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 minus 1, 0. Negative 1 plus 3 is 2. 0, 1, negative 3. So based on that, we have managed to read the answer here. So this is the coordinate vector of V. Okay. Therefore, coordinate vector for V with respect to the basis, which is given by V here, is 2 and negative 3. So that's the answer. Okay, uh, next is this last example here for this video. Here we have basis for this vector space here. Mm, find the coordinate vector for this guy with respect to B. So again, this is B and this is vector space. Uh, sorry, this is B basis for the vector space. This is the vector in that uh, space here. So, again, the starting point is to combine V and V together. Here we have 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 0, 1, 0, 1. Here is 1, 2, negative 2. So, based on this, I'm going to change this to 0. Therefore, R2 plus negative 1 r1 and the result that I got is 1 1 1 1 1 minus 1 0 2 minus 1 1 0 minus 1 negative 1 and then 2 minus 1 is 1 so that is the second row for this part here also I need to change it to value of 0 and for that purpose, I need to consider this operation R3 plus negative 1 R1. So 1 minus 1, 0. 0 minus 1, negative 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. Negative 2, negative 1, negative 3. Okay. So this is the new uh, matrix that we have. Next is... Um, well, this looks alright, this looks alright. What about this one? So I need to turn this value to um, 0. And that can be achieved if I consider R3 plus 1 R2. And I will have 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, negative 1, 1, 0 plus 0, 0, negative 1 plus 1, 0, 0, minus 1 negative 1 negative 3 plus 1 negative 2 
okay now next is i'm going to turn this to be equal to one so um negative one times r three and the results are zero zero one two okay next is i need to consider um well turn this value to be zero so that will be r2 plus negative sorry r1 plus negative 1 r2 so we're going to do the changes in this first row and i will get well 1 plus 0 is 1 1 minus 1 is 0 1 plus 1 2 1 minus 1 um, 0 yeah and then the rest are like this okay well what i can do next is i can uh, focus on this part to be zero as well mm, therefore r3 plus sorry r1 again r1 because we're going to do the change in r1 so r1 plus negative 2 r3 okay so the results are going to be well 1 plus 0 is 1 0 plus 0 is 0 2 minus 2 0 here is 0 minus 4 so 0 minus 4 so here is negative 4 okay negative 4 yep and I also need to turn this to be 0 so the process that I have to consider is r2 plus 1 r3 therefore 0 plus 0 0 1 plus 0 is 1 negative 1 plus 1 0 1 plus 2 is 3 and here is 0 0 1 2 and as you can see here, um, this is already RREF and therefore this is the answer that we can get straight away. We can read straight away from here and this is um, the answer to coordinate factor of V with respect to B. Okay, so I'm just going to use this space here. Therefore, coordinate vector for V with respect to B is negative four three two okay all right thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video with more examples related to coordinate vector